Welcome to another episode of Tyler's Tech. In the first impressions, today is probably the most expensive one because we're taking a look at Mac OS X. Uh, it's not OS X, is it? Uh, Mac OS Sierra. Um, haven't used Mac since probably Snow Leopard. Um, don't really sort of endorse the whole idea of a Mac and being locked into sort of the whole ecosystem that is Apple, but. That's not to say that it's totally rubbish, so uh, we'll have a look. Oh, I haven't got a Mac keyboard, it's just, I'm using a Windows keyboard and I've had to swap around a few keys so it mirrors what a Mac keyboard would look like function wise. Um, this is the 8 gig Mac Mini late 2014 which is completely unupgradable unless you really want to sort of take it fully apart and I think there's an iFixit guide or something like that. but. I thought I'll do one of these videos because the thing about Mac is I'm not, I don't really use it and I haven't, as I said, since Snow Leopard, so I can actually do a first impressions as opposed to Windows, which is pretty much baked in everyone's mind. Um, so let's have a look. So I've got my dock down here uh, with a zoom in effect. I've I've made the minimize to the program icons instead of over here just it feels a bit less cluttered to me um, I'm still learning sort of the keyboard shortcuts I've had to sort of be going to and from the Apple website which shows you which ones are what um, hot corners I've got launch pads in the bottom right which uh, uh, I don't really use too often and then in the bottom left I just got to show the desktop um, but I'm not really sure how much use that is because it's not like it dumps you at a desktop it just hovers the open applications out of your sort of view and then yeah so program wise I've installed myself team viewer Skype uh, the whatsapp desktop client OBS steam uTorrent Google Chrome All right um, I originally wanted to do this without recording natively I was I tried to do it through my capture card on my main rig but it just wouldn't display for some reason I've never had issues with anything else but this Mac mini didn't want to didn't want to play so let's have a look so finder finders always open and it's always down there um, I think it's a tabbed interface let me just double check yeah you got a tabbed interface um, it defaults usually when you open it up to all my files, but I don't like that, so I've chose it to just default at my home so I can jump in and out. Um, install Google Drive, which is quite simple. I also installed OneDrive and then quickly uninstalled it. I, um, yeah, I didn't really like that. Um, I'm not too clued up on the iCloud Drive stuff, so I won't go into that too much. Uh, these tags I haven't even sort of used. I'm guessing you can tag files or, or whatever and then anything with that tag would appear there. So if we go into have a look at the default backgrounds. It's got a nice fair selection. Um, the one I prefer out of these is probably this one. Which looks like that. So we'll leave it on that for now. So that's your finder. Uh, it's okay. Um, Siri, I've just disabled. It's of no use to me. I don't use an iPhone either, so it's not like um, sort of my Siri's transferable or whatever. Already spoke about Launchpad. So Safari. Funny enough, I done um, an, I know Octane is not being updated anymore, but I run an Octane on Safari and I run an Octane on Chrome. And the Safari, out of the few times that I did it, actually came out on top. The mail client I like, I'm not going to open it, just in case I've got stuff there. I'm not going to open contacts, so let's have a look if I can show the calendar. Um, yeah, that's alright. So the calendar, I actually really like. It's synced automatically with my Google account, so I didn't need to faff around with that. It was just done nice and easy. And yeah, I just like that. Have a look at the days, weeks, months and years. But I'll keep it on the month. Yeah, the calendar's cool. I like the calendar. P 
pages, which is, I guess, the... Oh, and I quite like Apple Notes as well. Unfortunately, you can't sync it with Keep as far as I know, so it's not really useful to me. Um, so, yeah, pages. Uh, I like the interface. Um, I'm not too sure how well it gels with Office file types. I know you can export it in a Office file type, I think. So, it's quite a nice clean interface. I don't really have a lot of issues with that. Oh, so it changes the colour of the bar at the top when you scroll past the photo. Or transparent effect-ish. Um, it's okay for what it is. I probably won't use it much. Reminders. Maps I won't use. The Photos app's okay. I mean, I'm reading up was the one before Aperture or, or something. Apparently people preferred it. I, I really don't know. Messages I like. Now, I don't have an iPhone, but a lot of my friends do. And being able to message them off my Mac is actually quite cool. FaceTime, same as. Spotify, install myself. Let's have a look at the App Store. So, if we go into the top charts and let's just see what the... So Logic Pro for your music. The App Store is quite nice. So all your updates are handled from here. None available. Okay. System preferences. This reminds me of some of the um, settings that you'd find in a in a Linux distribution. And being Unix based, I guess it's not too far off. Um, so what I've done with my dock, that small magnification on bottom, and yeah, so I've minimised into the application icon. Um, yeah, so oh, so and the keyboard so I had to change was shortcuts. Oh, was it there? Where was it? Oh yeah, modifier keys. So I've had to do it like that. I'm slowly getting used to sort of copying and pasting, but it's like muscle memory every now and then. Now the one that always gets me is is selecting all text. So usually I'll do a control A, but with this Windows keyboard it's effectively Alt A, which because Alt is my um command key and it's just like a shift and I'm just trying to get used to that. Um I could have got a an Apple keyboard but I don't want more than one keyboard on my desk and the way I have it set up at the moment is I have my main rig um, and whatever computer I'm using at the time with a USB switcher so I can just press a switch which I've got underneath my desk and it just switches the inputs over to the other machines so there you go um, I quite like this to, so to little sort of text shortcuts it didn't work straight away. I had to sort of a bit of googling showed me there was a command that I could put into the terminal, and it done that. Speaking of the terminal, if we just have a look at the terminal, so most of your sort of common commands should apply. So if you did a ls, and then sort of say cd music. So I haven't really delved too far into the sort of what it supports. So exiting, what does that do? I don't know. I'm just going to quit that. Okay. So I like the fact as well that when you download something off of Safari, it opens itself up down here, which is cool. And then sort of applications. I'll oh, as again, I haven't used this in Snow Leopard. So when I first installed an application, I was not sure what to do. I just didn't know, and then it was really simple. So I kind of like that. But then I've sort of removing a couple of programs. I found that it's not the best removal because it leaves sort of little, little traces of the file behind. 
but there is um there is apps to sort of better the removal process um another cool thing i like is the spotlight i really like this um so even anything so i could just sort of type a name and then it will find that which will be the top here and i could send them a message or i could search for a file so we've got see again i just try to do um control a for select all instead of alt a so i'm still getting used to that which i say getting used to it. i'm not really going to delve too much further into os mac os it's not it's not for me although i will say since i've used snow leopard it's improved a lot and I, if I adjusted myself, I could actually use it full time. But yeah, so if we just type in a file name, screenshot, and then it'll find a screenshot that's at the bottom. And then I could just hit enter. And uh, that brings me to the Wi-Fi. The, uh, the Wi-Fi chip is actually quite good. That's kind of in line with what I'd expect on my network. Um, not amazing, but does the job okay so if we have a look at a few more programs I installed iMovie I've never used iMovie um, and I installed GarageBand I've never used GarageBand um, so we've got there, we've got there. what we'll do is we'll do an Octane I'll quickly run an Octane on the Safari when I done it without anything running at idle it got about 30,000 Um, there we go. So we just run a quick Octane score. I doubt it will reach 30 with all of this going, but I'll leave that minimised. So if we go up to the top right, this is sort of like your, I don't know what they'd call it, your notification centre. Well, yeah, there's your notifications uh, there. So this is, I um, don't know what you'd call this, it's a little panel that shows you your weather, calendar, any events you've got to do, stocks, I'm not interested in that, I should probably remove that. Um, as you can see, I haven't got work tomorrow, I've got a day off, hence why I'm doing this video. Yeah, I haven't done a lot of videos lately, I've been super busy at work, um, but there you go, got to get your money. Um, and it's got a dashboard, I'm not sh entirely sure how useful this is going to be. You can open up sort of a safari, you can open like a, take a clip of like a YouTube video that's playing and I guess if you're at work or something and you work on a Mac and you wanted to sneakily watch something, you could have it play there and then say your boss comes, you could just pop back to your desktop, I don't know, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's an option. Let's just see how the Octane score is going. Yeah, it's taking a lot longer. So I w I'm just going to disregard whatever score this comes out with. I'll, uh, I'll put a screenshot of the um, of a more sort of accurate score after I film this video and can compare it to that. Um, what else have we got? It's so a Steam. I've installed Steam just for a laugh really. I tested it with CSGO and I fiddled about with the settings at... Uh, Full HD, I could get just 60 FPS, which is playable for most games, but for me, CSGO, 60 FPS, no. Um, okay, that should be done by now. There you go, see, it's a shocking score. It's got the uh, dual, I think it's a dual core i5. Don't quote me on that, though. But, yeah, so for someone who's not used... A Mac in a very long time, and who was never that keen on it in the beginning. The only reason I actually ever used it is when I went to I went to like a production school for music, and we used Macs. So I had, I ended up buying a Mac solely for that course, and I didn't really venture too far out of the music sort of production programs that I was using, and I just never really liked Mac. I started when I I started using com like Windows computers, and then I sort of delved into Linux sort of when I was about fourteen and. I like the freedom of being able to sort of pick and choose what I want to do and upgrade as time goes on. Um, which is kind of against the Mac ethos if you like. But as far as like a clean, simple, sort of intuitive operating system, it is one of the best. It's just not for me. But I like it. And I will sort of, I'll delve into it a little bit deeper. Um, 
I mean, it'd be stupid otherwise paying all this money just to do this one one video. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you for watching and please subscribe.